Welcome to episode 11 of Faster Than Light. I'm almost Stiltskin, and I'm feeling great. Our ship, maybe not as great. Uh, we're ready to jump to the next sector, and we have but one choice, a civilian sector. So let's go here and hope a store awaits us so that we can repair. Ah, there is no store in sight. We should certainly think about upgrading now. I think we'll want to go ahead and get three shields. It's expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. We only need one power. We can just leave one on in the clone bay and still use our battery to, uh, to use hacking. So that shouldn't be a problem. We still have enough to repair if we do find a store and we'll have more defense now to hopefully survive more encounters. I think we can jump to this distress beacon. Okay, it looks like there's a human colony with a disease that's broken out. Um, this isn't the best blue option, but it is certainly better than just sending our regular crew in. Our rock member will just crack some skulls and uh, he's not susceptible to a human virus because he is a badass. Their leaders gave us a reward and uh, everybody's happy. Cool. Uh, it's not a huge reward, but hey, money for nothing and scrap for free. I think that's how that song goes. Oh, it's an asteroid field. Well, it's a good thing we upgraded our shields. We can still board this guy, because we have Lanius, and we don't really give a fuck about not having oxygen. So I think our plan here, since they have a missile, is to board their shields and focus our weapons on their weapons. Hopefully that will allow us to inflict the most punishment. Uh, we may take some damage here from that missile and from getting hit with an ion, possibly with some asteroids thrown in, but hopefully we can hit them fast enough that we don't take any damage. Well, besides from that missile, of course. Okay, well, that was not a good miss. Uh, that was not a good miss at all. So we're going to power up our backup battery. Well, I guess we're going to have to use our regular power on hacking since uh, took that first. And we're gonna just hack their weapons. I am not a big fan of being shot at by missiles, especially when my hull is so low. We'll wait for the weapon to charge a little bit. The missile did miss us, that's neat. And then we will fire that hacking off when it can set them back for even longer because it actually decreases the weapon charge. Okay, I think we need to wait and fire our weapons in conjunction, and our Lania should have the shields. Ah, there they go. When they're in an asteroid field without shields, that starts to make them die very quickly. I think we're safe to take our Lanius off their ship, having taken no damage because an AI ship doesn't really have any crew to fight back. And then of course we'll just finish them off. So we took, uh, I think, one missile hit there. Could really have gone a lot worse. Our hacking is almost ready to go, so we'll just switch that power back to shields, and we defeated the ship. All in all, not too bad. I would really love to find a store or some way to repair, however, and we can't upgrade here because it's an asteroid field. Okay, there's a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate. Well, we could ignore them, which might be prudent since we're so low on health, but I just can't abide pirates, and it looks like they just have lasers and a beam weapon, and we do have three shields now. I think with our boarding and our hacking, we should be able to easily conquer them. Our teleporter didn't automatically recharge because the previous area was a hazard zone, an asteroid field. We'll just teleport into their piloting. And we'll just go ahead and fight them. Soon the oxygen will be gone out of that room and the fight will start to go even more smoothly for us. I think now we can go ahead and fire our flak at their weapons, and then, uh, that may have been a little premature, but that's all right, we'll shoot the chain laser. One shot got through. That's all we need to guarantee that their weapons can't hurt us. So of course, now we can just finish them off. We don't even need for the oxygen to leave the room in order to finish killing them. Okay, let's contact the settlement. Well. They can't give us too much, but they gave us something, a 
and uh, I'm always in favor of getting something. We're at 200 scrap now, there's still not a store, uh, so I think we should just upgrade our engines. We need to get our defenses to be even better, and uh, it's really important now that we're so low. I would like to upgrade the weapons, but I think that's too expensive right now. We do need to be able to pay for substantial repairs. So let's go ahead and upgrade engines yet again, and I think we'll leave it there. So we're up to 42% evade. We have three shields. That makes me feel a little bit better about the fact that our hull critical warning will not go away. Let's jump here. Okay, it's an ion storm, and they have a giant missile. That's not good news at all. We're gonna activate our battery, we're gonna power up shields more, use the battery for hacking, hack their weapons. This will also allow us to lock them in so that they can't escape to the med bay, and they can't escape when their oxygen runs out. So it's an excellent combination with Lanius borders. We'll wait for their weapon to charge a little bit, and then we'll fire off that hacking. We really only need one shield because they only have one laser powered. So we can actually put more points into our engine just in case that missile does manage to fire. Okay, uh, our guys may die, so we'll go ahead and switch some power into the cloning bay here. If we're lucky, the doors will close before they can leave, and then, oh wow, well that worked out much better than I anticipated. Um, they are about to shoot that missile at us, however. I think we should fire at them and hope we get lucky. Okay, the missile still went off. We're going to want to fully power our engines and hope that it misses us. We do need to have a power now in the clone room. I think we can actually turn off our shields. Okay, well, they still hit us for three damage, so that's pretty bad. Um, we'll need to repair that. On the plus side, I think we are winning this fight. We do want some power and hacking, so we can now see their weapons again, and we'll once again set them back. Um, and we'll, that will give our Lanius enough time to hopefully destroy them, and then the missile won't be able to fire. And then we can safely worry about the rest of their crew. That would be ideal. We'll go ahead and shoot their med bay, just because we can. Now that their weapons are pretty much gone, I'm going to activate our flak so that we have more firepower to use against them. I'm also going to make sure our O2 is on. Okay, our weapons are ready, and I think we can go ahead and use our flak on the shields, and then we'll aim for the med bay with our chain laser. Okay, that worked out well. Let's go ahead and hop in here and try to finish them off. We would really, really like to repair very, very soon. And also probably not run into ion storms. That's really not an awesome thing to be doing. We managed to get out okay. But that 3 damage missile hit really set us back. Oh, store, thank the FTL gods. That makes me feel so good. Okay. Whatever they have is just gravy. This, this repair right here is really what we need. Let's go ahead and fix our power situation first. Okay. Now, let's look at the store. We have some mantises. Uh, we have a human. There's some drones we don't really care about. Mind control, but still no cloaking. We could also get a med bay. Drone control, no, we don't really want that. I think we're gonna start by just repairing a whole bunch. That feels a lot better. Uh, we kind of came back from the brink there. I feel really good about that. I don't think we really wanna hire any of these guys. There's not another store in range. 
So I think at this point we may want to... You know, mind control would be nice. I think cloaking though, it's just going to be better. But I think we'll go ahead and switch over to the med bay. It's going to be a lot better for our Lanius borders. It's going to be worth the scrap, I think. We still have level 2 med bay because we had a level 2 cloning bay. And now we can put our Lanius in there and voila, they can actually heal. So they can be prepared to board every time without having to, you know, die. Um, we can also send Cryohazard to get healed. He seems to be injured from some previous conflict. Okay, and so now we have a med bay. I do like the cloning bay, but when you have Lanius especially, I think the med bay is just better. Let's jump once more. Okay, well, it's another Ion Storm, but we got free stuff, and I think there won't be an enemy ship. Yeah, we just have to fight off some intruders. Uh, I am totally okay with that. We have two Mantises, we have three Laniuses. I'm not really sure what they hope to accomplish here. Uh, this is not going to go well for them at all. Um, I'm not even sure I really want our Lanius in there. We can just leave our Rock Man and two Mantises to just tear up in there. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to heal these guys and we'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's jump. There's a distress beacon here, but I think we want to wait to go to that. We have time to hit these other dudes first. Okay, we can get seven fuel for four missiles. Yeah, sure. That's a pretty good deal. We are not using missiles, so... We can also fully power our stuff now that we're out of that ion field. That feels a lot better. Ooh, we even have time to go to this distress beacon. Let's do it. Okay, looks like they need some help repairing this. Uh, I don't think that we are capable of helping them. Uh, if you had an NG, you would have an option for that. If we had an ion weapon, and I think a few other things. You know, our hacking might actually be able to do it. Let's see. Uh, no. So, we'll, we're only given one option here, and it's usually not good. Yeah. Well, that's what we get for experimenting. We just took some hull damage, and we're going to have to repair. I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready. Let's jump. Okay, we could pay their toll, but of course we will instead fight them. And we'll just fire at them. It looks like they have a missile. We can't hack or teleport through Zoltan shields, and they've hacked our med bay. Well, we're not really using the med bay, so that's not too bad. The Zoltan shield missile is kind of a problem, however. We're going to have to hope their missile misses us. Or, you know, just hits us in shields. Fortunately, even though it started a fire, there's no oxygen in there, so that should go up pretty quickly. And we should have their Zoltan shield down very shortly, and then we can hit them with some hacking in their weapons room. Um, we will need to take down their clone bay before we kill anyone, or at least shortly after they die, or we will have problems. I'm going to go ahead and teleport our guys into the weapon room. Okay, they just took out our O2, so we'll want to repair that pretty soon, but it's not a huge priority right now. Uh, in fact, I'd rather have multiple guys be repairing shields, but uh, none of them can breathe in there, so that's kind of a problem. Uh, our stuff is ready to fire. I think we don't have the clone bay anymore, so we can't indiscriminately fire at our own guys. We'll shoot our flak at the shields, and then we'll shoot our laser at the clone bay. Okay, so we took down their clone bay. Uh, now we're just going to try and kill this rock guy. That missile missed us, so our evasion finally came in handy. Although the laser did get us because our shields are still damaged. Um, now our, mis our weapons are damaged too, but we almost have their crew killed. So we should be good pretty soon. They got one more missile off, but now we win. Okay, well I took a lot more damage there than I would like. I would really love to get cloaking at this point. Because um, that would be a, an excellent way to avoid the missiles. We're just kind of, it's sad we haven't seen it in a store yet. Um, but we should be able to afford it when we do get there. 
We're gonna need to heal our guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, before we jump, I think we want to go ahead and upgrade sensors and piloting. Uh, and that's just to give us more blue options, mostly. And also, having more sensors and piloting never hurts, in case they get damaged or something like that. Okay, let's investigate. There's a single life form down here. Okay, there's a man living alone in a cave, and his mental state is questionable. Well, fortunately, we have a level 2 medbay, so of course we'll just bring him right there. Uh, the system is able to restore his body and undo some of the damage to his brain. He almost feels like his old self, and it looks like he's a master of weapons. He may be replacing Kerensky. We'll have to rename Charlie here. I'll be right back. Okay, our new weapons master is Colander Crotch. Uh, I put Colander as the first name, so it'll just show the last name there, Crotch. And uh, he is very good at weapons, so now we'll be able to fire a lot faster. And Kerensky has moved to doors. This makes it pretty cool for boarders, so if they try to attack us in our doors, we can fight them off with a Mantis and a Rockman. But if they don't attack us in our doors, well, we can just vent them to space. So that seems like it's a pretty interesting thing there. Let's go ahead and jump. There is a store here. We can do some more repairing from all those missile hits we've been taking. Okay, uh, it looks like there's an interesting mix of crew, including an NG that we might want. There's also cloaking, but we probably can't afford that. Yeah, I don't think we have enough, even if we sold everything, which we don't want to do. So instead, we'll have to not get cloaking yet, fix our ship, we don't really need fuel or anything else. I would kind of like an NG, but not enough to sell anything or dismiss a crew member. Especially because this NG is apparently a good fighter, but it's still an NG, so that's kind of just awful. Alright, let's continue. Jump to the exit. Okay, there's a rebel space station, and there's just one fighter monitoring the beacon. The rebels haven't noticed us, and they're looking to detain any loyalists. Well, we can either attack them, bribe them with scrap, or shut down all non-vital systems and stay hidden. I think we should just fight them because I want their scrap. I lust for it. Let's fight. Okay, they don't actually look very scary, so this could be fun. Let's go ahead and use our backup battery to power our hacking. You know, I'm gonna put a permanent power in the med bay just so we can only use temporary power on hacking. Cause that's all we really need. We're going to hack their med bay. There's kind of a neat trick that I would like to show you. Now that they've been hacked, we'll take the power out, teleport over there. They can join us fine in the med bay. You might think this is a terrible idea, but wait, what if we turn hacking on? Oh no, now they're they're in serious pain and they can't get out because the doors are closed. Oh god, that was just brutal. We should also shoot at them, so let's do that. And right in the weapons. Okay, that should be plenty. Um, ooh, I didn't even notice the boarding drone. Silly me. Fortunately, there's a warning that Infinite Jesters was about to die. We really don't want that, so he's going to leave that fight, and uh, we'll go ahead and send our Mantis and our Rockman to take care of that boarding drone. They've joined us in the med bay, but the med bay has now been destroyed, so they can't heal there, and now we'll just follow him to weapons and murder him. Then we'll be able to finish off his compatriot there. We can't hack the med room anymore, unfortunately because uh, it's destroyed. And you can't hack something that's been destroyed. It kind of makes sense. Um, it looks like everybody should get back to their positions now, except that Cryohazard should repair that breach and our pilot can continue to heal. Um, we've almost finished killing them. We'll just finish him off here. He ran away because he didn't have oxygen in that room. And now they are dead. Kind of a tiny reward. That was a little pitiful. Well, whatever. We'll uh, heal up and I'll be right back. Alright, we're healed up. It doesn't look like we have enough time to jump down here and then back to the exit, so we'll have to go to the next sector. This is an interesting choice. 
We could either go to the Rock Home Worlds or the Slug Home Nebula. Either one of these would give us the opportunity to potentially do a ship unlock quest. And there are just some unique events in the home worlds. They're always really interesting. Um, I think I'll just leave it here and we can perhaps even discuss in the thread. So that should be a great choice. Uh, this has been episode 11 of Faster Than Light. I'm Mobile Stiltskin, and I hope to see you next time.